All right, dudes and dudettes, it is time for another episode of All the Mod 6 to the Sky. Guys, today we are going to be focusing on getting some awesome power set up that we don't have to really worry about. And check it out, we also got some friends here. There was a wandering trader that uh, spawned in, and some say the floor gave out from underneath him and he fell into the void. No one can prove it. But yeah, we have our two buddies here, and uh, he don't like me. He don't like me now? Hello? Yeah. So yeah, we have this space over here. We're going to be setting up our power generation back here for now. And if you're wondering how we're going to do that, well, we're going to be using the crucibles to make lava and then a magmartyr uh, that we'll be using to uh, make uh, more power, baby. So let's go ahead and get started on that. All right, so to get this far departed, we're going to need to make a bunch of these uh, fired crucibles, which means blah, which means we need a lot of the porcelain clay, which means we need a lot of the things. So we can make a total of eight of these. We have three more over there. We're going to be putting all of them over here. We're going to be making a kind of a U-shape with the mag mortars in the middle. So yeah, now we need to make these slabby jabbies, and I believe I have them. I got two up here. Perfect. Uh, yes, I got all of the redstone I have uh, currently on me right now because we do need to make some redstone blocks. So I'm going to make two of them, which is okay for now. Uh, so that means we have ten. Uh, and then let's see, we need this guy. So we need these. We'll just do 48. Yeah. And then we'll make as many of these as we can. Yeah. And then we'll turn half of them sideways. Yeah. Okay. Let's make a bunch of these. We're going to need to make... Oh, we need more iron. I didn't realize we ran out. There we go. We're going to need to make uh, the basic tier first. I believe it's just going to require a bucket. That's easy. Okay. So let's make this guy real quick. All right. And then uses... We're out of iron. Man, you know... What I would give to double our ores, because that is a possibility, but we do need a steady uh, supply of power, which we'll be doing. So we should be good to go there. Perfect. And then we can go ahead and make our, our boy, our mag mortar. So this is going to produce the same amount uh, at F, bleh, 70 FE per tick, but we're going to have quite a few more. Um, I'd like to have like four or five of these set up, and then we'll eventually you know, continue to upgrade them throughout the coolness of the mod pack. Oh yes, there you are. I was gonna do this with uh, some stone brick slabs. I think it'll look look pretty uh, not so bland, if you know what I mean. Okay, and then we should have a bunch of cobblestone uh, put in here for lava, because we're definitely gonna need lava set up. Um, we got, looks like, just under three buckets in here. Uh, so that should be, should be nice. We're gonna need to use the mechanism pipes more as well but yeah let's let's get this party farted so we're gonna do a loop loop de loop around like this and this is gonna hold the lava from going out and spilling all over the void we'll make it look good too and then here and then we're gonna leave it like that and then we're gonna leave it like that and the cool thing is oh is we're out of uh, stone brick slabs so we're going to put the lava on top of those, or the, the crucibles, unfired crucibles that need to be fired because they're not doing their job. So let's get the rest of these slabs crafted up while those guys get fired up. Yeah, and then we'll pump all of the, the fluid, whoops, right here. And this is where, uh, yeah, we won't really need to worry about that even too soon. There we go, and there we go. This is going to be covered in lava, and then the magma guy. We'll put him here, and we're going to have like a 3x3 a three three wall going like this, and power is going to be going in the back of these and in the sides and all around town, having a good time. I don't know what I'm talking about. So let's go ahead and grab the lava over there. We'll start putting the lava in. And if you're wondering how we're going to automate the coal gathering well very good question but a very easy answer as well we have another one of these guys the tier one that we can use for the beginning part of it and that is exactly what we're going to do so these will give us enough space yeah those meet here they're not going to meet here so we'll need to put one more uh, but the cool thing is you just need it over lava it doesn't need to be a source block so that's where we're going to take advantage of yeah um, 
I'm going to, ooh, I'm not going to steal that one. I accidentally turned a bunch of them into um, obsidian earlier, which felt really dumb. <gasps> ah, I was dumb. <laughs> water, water, ah. Ooh. Ah. Alrighty, so we got 11 of these guys. We can go ahead and start placing them over the lava here. Alright. So these are, in fact, getting all fired up. Um, yeah, we're coming in the middle like this. Cool. Okay, so... Oh, that one's only at <laughs> heat level 1. Rest in pepperonis. Uh, but yeah, we can start to put the... Uh, the cobblestone in here and we'll start to get lava processed up now the cool thing is about the uh, the cables and stuff that we're going to be using is that it won't wait for it to you know get all the way up in power it'll just start pulling out as soon as there's lava available uh, so I do have the steel crafting over here sure do and then to get the lava out uh, we're just gonna go ahead and make that is the wrong one we need to put the buckets in Yep, the mechanical pipes. These are going to pull all of the fluid out, which is what we want. So we're going to be putting the items in the top and then uh, pulling the items out of the back. Uh, how do we make the item one again? Ah, with the, the control board. Okay. All right, guys. So we are back here. And I think I'm actually going to go ahead and make the highest tier cobblestone generator that we can because we do have everything for it. Uh, yeah, so this is going to be for our farm, our cobble, our, our lava power, pretty much. So we're going to be using the highest tier stuff we can. Um, next thing we're going to go on ahead and do is we're going to need to make a drawer for the cobble to go into. It's going to fill up very fast. The reason why is I, I figured if we did the tier one, it would take too long to fill up. But I'm like, ah, I don't really want to worry about it. So I'm going to be putting these guys right here. So we got to be kind of quick about it. Okay. And then we'll put the drawer right here. And then we're going to do another one as well. And then these are going to feed in. So we're going to have mirror this on both sides. And I'm probably going to bring this, this over. But yeah, we have that here. Yeah, that is filling up plenty fast. So let's go ahead and yep, get the blocks and we'll start placing them so this will fill up all of the cobble bam if we do that we can also upgrade these but as you can see it's going to be filling it up and if we do we might not want to do them all because or the two of them sorry i didn't mean it all the reason I say that is because there could be a lot of, you know, cobble that gets stuck because say, say this one needs cobble, right? And then this one sends cobble to it and this one sends cobble to it. So it might create a lot of lag. So we might just have one here and then maybe like one here for show or something like that. So it looks good. But I definitely like the look of this. You know, it's feeding all the cobblestone and that is a heck ton of cobblestone. And yeah, look at that. We're generating a lot of lava. So then we also need the ability to pull out the fluids. Uh, so we definitely... And yeah, we're gonna we're gonna put a crafting table over here for now. I don't want to run back just for the crafting table. All right, and then if we put a void upgrade on this, I think that'll actually solve the problem. As you can see, it's actually putting some cobblestone back in when it can't. Like, see that just went back in, so this thing is staying full. <clears throat> see, we might just put a void upgrade, and then we're able to have two of them, so we'll have a lot of cobblestone going. Um, yeah, we didn't want to use the, the Gen 1 guy. So let's go ahead and work on the mechanical pipes here. Uh, so these are just going to be kind of on the back. We do need to set all of these to export. And then, yeah, it should be good after that. <clears throat> and we can go ahead and upgrade uh, the cables and such. Super easy. All right, so that's filling up with lava. It's got nowhere to go, though. So let's get on over here. <clears throat> I 
Okay, and then we might just have the cable run down and over here to uh, where our lava generators are going to be. So let's go ahead and grab that guy. He's over here because I was using him to, to do some fun stuff. <clears throat> but yeah, we can just go ahead and place him here. And then we can run all of the fluid up the back like this. All we're going to have to probably do is just put some water down there build a little bit of a platform so that we can um, you know, stand down there, and then we'll probably just use that or something. So let's do that now, actually. All right, play the Mission Impossible music. No, I'm just teasing. All right, so we're just going to be doing... That's what I thought. Okay. Whoop. Don't fall off, don't fall off, don't fall off. Okay, we're good. Alright, and so then down here, um, this is where the power will come out of this guy, just for now. Yeah, then we can run the cable over like a so. Bam. All right. So then we're going to run the fluid pipe in. We are out of fluid pipe. Place him here. Cool. Okay. So very, very simple way of doing it. And then this actually should be filling up. There should be... Yeah, as you can see, well, there's lava in this guy. Did we miss him? Did we miss him? Oh, yeah, we clicked that guy too much. There we go. Or didn't click him enough. <clears throat> Sweet. Okay. So let's go grab some stiff. We need... Yes, we have it in our inventory. Cool. All right. Crafting for the mechanical pipes are done. We can go ahead and complete it all the way around and then hopefully run some down. Yeah, we got seven left. Okay. Okay, so all of those... Should be okay now. And then, so the second one in is where we're going to be putting it. Yeah, okay. Ooh, this is going to be a little tricky. All right, so second one in. Not helping game. Okay. <laughs> All right, we got the... That was the difficult one. And then that one. Perfect. Okay. So we can come on down here. And place one more. And then run the cable over. Ah, oh, we're like too short. That's kind of lame. <laughs> oh, man. All right. So we got the finished. Or we have, we have the cables here. So we can go ahead and finish this up here. So transporter. Bam, 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 bam. And then we're going to put one here because we can. Okay. So we're going to break this guy. Stop it, game. Mechanical pipe. There we go. Did it again. That's funny. Shift clicking is not fun sometimes. Okay. So that's got all of the lava. All right. And we'll bring it down. <laughs> Check this out. We're one short again. Ah. Okay. Uh, I do have everything I need in my inventory to, to make the other cable, though. That's just, that's kind of funny. Okay. So final one. Or oh, actually, we needed two more after that. There we go. We are generating power passively. Like, we don't need to touch it. 
it will continue to generate power. Uh, we can't extend it out with another one of these guys here and here, uh, but it's actually connected up to our system here as well. We can go ahead and throw some extra power in just to keep things moving along. But uh, yeah, guys, check it out. Automated power, so cool. And it doesn't look half bad either. All right, let's go ahead and add those other two. We're gonna try to make two of these guys. Be, oof, we're running low on iron. Yeah, I figured as much. All right, so we need to get one more of those. Perfect, so we do have enough of those to make it. Um, yep, we made two of those. Sweet uses. Yep, okay, so we need two more of these guys. Uh, so that mean we need to smelt up some more of our iron, which we will be setting up a, uh, a processing system for this so that we can duplicate our, or not duplicate, but double our ores. It's going to be freaking sweet. Make sure you guys stay tuned for that. But let's continue on here. We're going to smelt up <clears throat> those iron. And it's just going to be all in all a, a fantastic thing. So we're going to set up a, basically think of this, uh, but we're going to have a one for, for sifting sand and dust as well. Uh, so just two more. And they're probably going to go like right here. And I'm going to try to come up with a way off camera to do these vertically so that they're pretty narrow. But it'll take me just a couple of minutes to probably do that. So yeah, we're also going to grab a little bit more iron because I realize that we don't have enough. But we have get, been getting so many materials, guys. It is ridiculous. Like, look at all of these. Like, it is crazy. We have six blocks of diamond. Six times nine. That is uh, 54. We got phantoms. You want to fight me? You want to fight me? Good freaking pickaxe. I'm going to sleep, I promise. I'll sleep, I promise. Okay, we're going to block them. There we go. Sleep, 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 sleep. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. What is it coming? Ah, I got me. Okay, we're gonna go here. They shouldn't be able to hit me. Come on. Yes! Suck it, suck it, suck it! <laughs> oh man, fun. But uh, while we're waiting for the iron to finish smelting up, we can go ahead and complete the look from the front. Right, we can do that. Okay. So we go chest, and we go shebang, shebang. Bam, how to craft a drawer with turtle. Isn't, but isn't that always what you wanted? All right, so let's see if we can do this. So I'm going to just break. Oh, that's so much easier. And then we're going to go like this. <laughs> it's like, hey, look, we got a spot to put everything. Just kidding. But it probably will. So this is just going to have it so that more are going to be flowing. We're going to put two void upgrades on each of these. Like I said before, and then we're going to add two more here. So <clears throat> we should theoretically have enough iron smelted up by now. Sure do. Perfect. Okay. So let's go ahead. We're going to need to make two more of these. Bingo, bingo, bongo. And we're already out of iron. We're, we got iron. Okay. Only have enough for one. Oh, oh, oh. It was just being weird. Okay, so we have the two of those. Perfect. Let's power cable. And then where did I put the rest of the pipe? Oh, we you know we had we had leftover pipe. I remember. It's right here. Mechanical pipe. Perfect. <clears throat> That's what we're going to do here. Going to break this guy. Going to break this guy. Put in the power guy. Power guy. Like that. All right. And then all we need to do, put it here, put it here. So now we are generating 210 FE per R RF per tick. So yeah, this uses a 5 FE, this uses 40, so we are way over what we need, which is cool, because 1, 2, wow, we grab 4. We messed up, it's okay. We can break this guy and this guy. And we're going to have to move those cables down. Uh, we're probably going to lose them. Hopefully we don't. Give me, ah, oh, we lost it. 
Didn't lose that one. Okay, so bam. Ooh, this is tough. Oh, that's pretty cool. I'm stuck. I'm less stuck. Cool, look at that, guys. It looks all nice and neat. Ooh, that's gonna be a great thumbnail. Should we get it together, the thumbnail? Yeah, we're gonna put all the mods to the sky up above it. I need to back up a block. Can we, can we, oh, maybe we can get on top of here. Ah, then we got the stupid wire in the way. Ah, that's perfect. So we go like this so that you can see him at the bottom. We shift, ooh. Is that not the most beautiful thing you ever did not see? Perfect. That's the thumbnail. All right. So that is going to wrap up the video for today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure to hit that like button. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. But guys, it's been Super Turtle, and this was how to generate power automatically. We don't need to touch this anymore. We're generating 210 RFE per tick, and we're not doing anything to do it. So anyways, I'll see you all later. Peace out. Take care.